post coloniality and hybrid identity we are now going to discuss how does language intersect with hybrid identities when these are formed as a result of post colonialism or transnationalism so what we are saying is that there exists a reciprocal relationship between language and identity so it is not that the language constructs identity it is also that the use of language also leads to certain negotiation of identity so it is argued that our speech acts that is when we choose a language to say something or to um, deliver a certain kind of function then those speech acts are actually a projection of ourself so we try to use uh, or the language to position ourselves in a specific way in relation to the other so when we come to this hybrid or post colonial identity then the use of language becomes very complex it becomes complex that we are simultaneously trying to project an identity which is other other than those of the colonial masters yet it there has to be a sameness also or a sense of affinity or affiliation with the with the native group and the group that is um, all that comprises of the colonial masters it is therefore argued that speakers do not just adapt their um, language choice or their speech acts based on the interlocutor that is depending on who they are speaking to rather they also actually negotiate themselves uh, for themselves a certain kind of image so it is a readjustment of the image of self that they want to project it is not just about plain communication and making yourself clear to someone that determines language choice so it is argued again that the pragmatic concerns in accessing multiple linguistic uh, resources or cultural resources that bilinguals have has to be sort of encouraged because these are not just um, um concerns that are pragmatic they are also political by pragmatic i mean um concerns that relate to the practical consideration of how to resolve a communicative problem so penny cook brings in a very interesting notion and that of performativity so what does this notion means this means that people try to perform different identities by choosing one language over the other or by translanguaging so what they are doing is that they are performing identities so remember identity is not just one there are multiple identities at the same time that a person carries and the second thing to remember is that those identities are performed so we through our choices of vocabulary choice of language through translanguaging we perform certain identities so we discussed it already that post colonialism means that we are simultaneously playing around multiple identities and multiple linguistic practices that come from our um, different types of or uh, identities or what we call over here hybrid identities now although we are talking over here in relation to post colonialism we need to keep in mind that even transnationals that is the people who immigrate um to a different country and then still they are coming back every now and then so these transnationals also have hybrid identities that they would like to uh, keep so this concept of hybrid identity or performing of hybrid identity is about maintaining a link of the past that is not being ashamed of who you were but 
recognizing your past, recognizing your roots, and yet also recognizing your position in the present situation. When we talk of the construction of hybrid identities, we need to keep in mind that these identities are also played around race, uh, ethnicity, social class, gender, age, and the geopolitical situation in which you are in. So all these count towards actually um, bringing together or constructing hybrid identities. And then, of course, we also are influenced in our identity based on the institutional affiliation that you might have at, a, at any given time. So this means that hybrid identity, identities are about location of self in relation to the other it is about the geopolitics of borders and how they affect an individual self. How does it affect the cultural practices of a given community? And it is also about how the language actually reflects those changes, those practices, those political messages and ideologies. And of course, the life situations within which people are uh, located.